Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. I am trying to inspire you to create your own cozy in the space that you live in. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to all so you know every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video at the end, please give it a like. It really helps my channel grow. And I would like to say welcome to all the new people and for all the ones that have been with me for a while, thank you so much for your support. This week, I'm gonna work on four projects from the thrift store. So let's get right into it. This is the first project. It's an $8 bread box from the thrift store. And it took the most work, but it was worth it because I wanted it for my kitchen. First thing I'm gonna do is change the silhouette of this bread box. It's very dated to me, so I'm just gonna square it up with my jigsaw. I also use my orbital sander to kind of smooth out these cuts and make it look like it was this way the whole time. Then there's the bottom. Wasn't that satisfying? It was about to bust anyway. So I removed this very water damaged excuse for a bottom. Then I used some scrap wood I had in the basement and just staple gunned it to the bottom and it is as sturdy as ever. Now, this wood is very thirsty. So I did a clear cream wax first and then I applied the DIY white wax. That way it wouldn't just turn white because this wood was so thirsty and dry. So the clear wax before was kind of like putting conditioner on it so that it wouldn't soak all the way through. So my, my reasoning behind this was I have an all white kitchen and to add some warmth to that, I like just putting wood tones in there, but the wood tone isn't exactly what I wanted. So I did the white wax to the whole thing and I'm pretty pleased with the results. Next, I'm going to take this metal from actually my very first YouTube video project. It's just scrap and I'm gonna cut it with some very hefty scissors to the size that I need and then just use staple gun to get that in nice and tight for an updated bread box look. This next one was kind of my problem child. There's one in every group. $6 at the thrift store. I started out painting it with spray paint, but it was a rainy day and I was trying to do it too fast. Too thick, too fast. And this is what happened. So my solution was an orbital sander and it brought some of the original wood back. So I just covered it in the white chalk paint. And I decided to use one of my favorite products out there, the IOD Queen Bee Stamp 
set. Makes everything look so much better. I use Jet Black Stays On ink. And I'm not gonna lie, this took about four or five different tries. When I mess up, I wipe it off with the baby wipe right away, repaint it, dry it with a hair dryer, and do it again. So, um, it was worth the effort. I don't know if this is my favorite type of bread box to do, but you let me know in the comments below. Do you like how it turned out? This bread box I got for $5 at the thrift store and it was somebody's project gone wrong. You can see that they used a bunch of clumpy paint on the inside and I was so excited to get started. I just immediately did two coats of flat white paint and it left it pretty bumpy. And then I took a normal sander to it and look, what it, look how it turned out. I was just trying to get it smooth to repaint and I was like, you know what? I kind of like this the way it is. It's a little funky, a little different. Maybe this can go on my booth when I open it. Who knows? Do you guys like it? This last project turned out to be a fun one. My middle kid got a little jealous from the box I made my youngest last week. So this one was $5.99. It's like a faux leather. So I thought, you know what? This chalked paint can kind of go on anything. Excuse the bad lighting. I was trying to watch TV on this rainy day and the lighting wasn't very amazing. But I just did two coats of the white chalk paint. This is over this faux leather. And the fun part is it had that stamped type stuff. So when I did the wet distressing, man, just watch it. It is so satisfying. And this turned out even better than I thought it was going to.
So what did you think? Did you have a favorite project? I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite project was. I'm gonna have to say that mine is a tie between the natural bread box and the chest for my middle daughter's room. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and I will see you again next week. Bye friends.